This morning has faced a huge backlash in recent weeks after Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield faced calls to be sacked over their queue jump to see the Queen's coffin. More recently they were slammed for endorsing a cooking segment which included £100 truffle amidst the cost of living crisis. Now, viewers think Holly has had enough of her co-host. The This Morning hosts were joined by Polly Brooks MB earlier in the week to talk about the Bali bombings, 20 years on. Polly suffered 43% of burns in the terror attack herself, but also tragically lost Anne, her husband of just five weeks, and her best friend Annika in the bombings. 202 people were killed in the bombing outside the Sari Club in 2002, of which 23 were Brits. Holly established Dan's fund for burns in the memory of her husband and spoke about rebuilding her life. As she opened up to the hosts, Holly was clearly touched by her story and was heard gasping, wow, gosh. Before she could continue, Philip cut her off to remark, 43% of your body was burnt, I think. This is screaming agony. Polly could be seen looking disappointed as she was not given the chance to continue with her line of questioning. The moment was caught by a TikTok user and shared with the caption, Holly's eye roll when Phil cuts her off. This morning backlash as viewers slam tone deaf cooking segment with 100 pounds truffles this morning has come under fire over Gino DeCompo's expensive cooking segment which has been branded tone deaf by viewers. What happened? Find out here. Many were quick to comment on the moment, with one user replying, that was some side ice light. Another added, trouble in paradise, as a third commented, Holly has had enough. It comes after ITV chief executive Dame Caroline McCall jumped to the defense of Holly and Philip amid the queue jump pro. The pair claimed they had press accreditation to film a segment for this morning for viewers who could not see the queen lying in state. Dame Caroline commented, I don't think they're feeling great. I mean, it's hard. Imagine yourself in the eye of a storm like this, where you're trying to say you've done nothing wrong, and all the noise around you is saying that you have. It's difficult to handle. She went on to reassure viewers the pair were at Westminster Hall to work. They did have accreditation, she continued. Lots of people say they didn't. They were sent by this morning to do a piece for 20th of September, which ran. They were to interview people inside and outside. They didn't displace anyone in the queue. And actually, they've been very misrepresented. She later reaffirmed, they did not do anything wrong. This morning airs weekdays on ITV at 10am, 